I'm about to say something using the most used language on earth. Can you tell what I'm saying? Unless you're a jellyfish, the answer is probably no. So what language was I using? I was using the language of bioluminescence. Beast. You may think the most used language on earth is English or Mandarin, and you'd be right if it was the most spoken language on earth. But it is estimated that 76% of all deep sea organisms use bioluminescence to communicate. And with 71% of the Earth's surface being covered in water, you can only imagine how many organisms use bioluminescence to communicate. It has evolved independently more than 94 times across species and has been observed in organisms as small as phytoplankton all the way up to the size of a shark. It is so widespread that some bioluminescence events can even be seen from space. The reason it is the most used language on Earth is because of something called the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone, known scientifically as the Mesopelagic Zone, is between 20 to 1,000 meters in depth. Very little light is able to make it past 200 meters, meaning bioluminescence has evolved to be used for almost everything down there. The most well-known example of bioluminescence is the anglerfish, using it as a lure for prey. It is also used for mimicking other animals or signaling other members of a species to mate. Light is even used as camouflage in a process known as counter-illumination. Light from above makes a dark silhouette really obvious from below. So light on the bottom of the animals breaks up their silhouette so that animals and predators cannot see them from below. We all know that feeling when someone whips open the curtains suddenly in the morning and the light gets into your eyes for the first time, often making us recoil away and hide under the covers. Well imagine if you are used to living in perpetual darkness normally. You can see how effective a sudden burst of light would be to startle or confuse predators. Another way light is used as a defense is to attract more predators. By glowing really brightly, the prey being eaten are trying to attract over even bigger predators to eat the predator which is eating them. So can I, arguably the most intelligent species on Earth, learn to use the most widespread language on Earth? Let's find out. Whilst I was planning this video, I was trying to think of ways of communicating with light and the most simple way I could think of was using Morse code. Morse code is an early form of telecommunications language where a series of dots and dashes can be translated into an alphabet. We are adapting this to use a series of flashes to attempt to say things to each other. For example, this would be an A. And this would be a B. So here is footage of our genuine attempts at using bioluminescence to have a conversation. So a H is four dots. Let's give it a try. Okay, first letter. Ready? First letter. Four dots. H. <laughs> yes. Okay, second letter. Second letter. Dash, dash, dash. Yes. O. Yes. All right, third letter. Dot, dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dash, W. Yes. Yeah. How? Yes, how, okay. Right, next letter. Dot, dash? Yes. A. Yes. How are you? Yeah, how are you? There we go, okay. Uh, dash, dash, dot. Okay. Uh, G. G! Dash. 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 G O. Dot, dot. I. 
I've forgotten the letters so far. What are the letters? G O I dash dot N going. Okay, going. Right, lovely. <laughs> Dot dot dot. Yep. S. Yep. Going S. Okay. Dot dash dash. Yes. W. Yep. Going swimming. Yes. Going swimming. Is that it? Going swimmingly. Close enough. Going <laughs> swimmingly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you could beat us? Have a go at translating my message to you. You'll need a Morse code alphabet to do this. Let me know in the comments if you managed it. I think this one is actually the first win for man. A stupid little phytoplankton is able to glow a little bit if something touches it, but we were able to communicate complex sentences and language to each other and actually have a partial conversation. It took a while to get to grips with using the Morse code alphabet and we had to look up every letter each time. But I am 100% sure if we practiced this, it would get quicker and easier. This one was definitely a win for man.